Welcome back. This is Defender Chassis. My name's Scott, and this is episode 12 of Have You Seen My Tool? Now, in this week's episode, what I want to show you is a set of Hyman transfer screws. Let me get the camera moved around, and I've got a little project set up here to uh, show you what these things can do for you. Be right back. All right, so before we take a look at these, I'd like to show you a couple other things. Maybe you're already aware of them, maybe you're not. What I've got here is a set of transfer punches. A lot of you have probably seen these and you know how these things work. You know, if you've got a part like this and you know you want to match it up to something else, let's pretend the top of this workbench is uh, a part you want to bolt this to. You can find the appropriately sized transfer punch, place it in each of these holes and give it a little smack with your hammer and it gives you a uh, perfect bolt pattern to locate the, uh, the part on. So, that's pretty simple, but from there, you know, that, th th this is the easy way to go. If you've got a part, you know, where you're coming from the top down, but what if you've got a part where, let's say it's fixed in place and the holes are blind, you can't get to them from the backside, and you want to put a part over top and catch, catch that hole. If you've ever tried to do this and you've tried to measure and figure out where those holes go, you know, it never really seems to come out uh, perfectly. So, in that event, that's where the, you know, these Hyman transfer screws come in. Now, these are for threaded holes, but if you've got something like this, it's just an open hole, one thing you can do, and it, borrow these from the uh, woodworker uh, community, these are dowel centers. And what they're meant for is if you drill a hole in one piece of wood and you want to put a dowel in the adjoining piece of wood, you can take these and place them into those holes that you've drilled, and then put the other piece of wood up against it, tap on it, and it transfers the a little punch mark so that you've got a location for the uh, adjoining hole. But in metalworking, we could, you know, in a case like this, if these were blind holes, we could use these and, and place them in these holes, lay the part on top and, you know, give her a little tap and, and, and transfer those, that, that, uh, that hole pattern. So one thing to think about. And, you know, something else I've done in the past, I had a project in which we were putting uh, aluminum tread plate back in the days when everybody thought aluminum tread plate looked great. We were overlaying some, uh, I believe it was a wrecker bed with uh, aluminum tread plate, and there were some bolts that we couldn't get out, that, or we didn't want to get out. We just wanted to put the tread plate right on top. And so we needed to, to drill a clearance hole for that bolt to, to pass through. And they were button head bolts, so they were, you know, used an, an Allen head screw, um, you know, to, to remove them. So what we did was we just took a uh, Allen wrench and sharpened the end of it and cut it off and then would place that into the, uh, you know, the, the female part of the button head and use that as like a, a transfer punch. So that's something to think about as well. But hey, let's move on to these uh, Hyman transfer screws, which is what um, the video is really about. Now, these things are made in Urbana, Ohio. Once again, they're not uh, sponsoring this video. I'm doing this because I find these handy and I want to make sure you guys are aware that these things are out there. And these are sold everywhere. And all, um, I'm not going to include a link. I'm not going to tell you where to buy them. You know, these things are anywhere from, I think, maybe as cheap as $13 a set. And I believe there's, there's seven in each of these. Some of the sets I've got are missing one or two. I bought them, some of them used, and and uh, picked them up where where I could. But um, you can you can buy these multiple multiple places, and they come. This is this is just the holder. This is not the tool. Actually, it is the tool, but it's not the transfer screw. But these holders have got a removable end, and those actually hold the transfer screws. So here we've got six. This is a set of 7 16 20s. Obviously 7 16 diameter, 20 threads per inch. And you know they're stored in, in, this, uh, in this handle. And what's handy about this, for one it would be hard to uh, keep track of these things, but the handle itself actually acts as a uh, tool. You see here, there's a hex end there which correlates with a hex here. 
give you a little shot of what these things are. Basically, they're just like a 7 16 bolt or whatever, you know, depending upon what your size is from here to here. And then they've got a little hex head, and then they've got a little, a little point at the end. And you can use this tool to actually get on there, install the transfer, uh, the transfer screw. So I've got a little example set up here. I grabbed the wrong one. I need 3816 is what I need. So let me grab a set of 3816. I've got several sets of these, anywhere from uh, number 10s, both in coarse and fine, quarter inch, 5 16ths, 3 8 7 16ths, and half. I think these go down as far as a number 4 screw, and they go up as large as a 3 quarter inch. And they're also available in metric, of course, if you, uh, if you need that kind of thing. So, let me get one of these out. Once again, this is a set of 3 8 16. Okay, there we go. So what I've got, we're gonna use these two holes in the top of my welding table. And let's say you wanted to transfer that distance. Now obviously, if you're just doing two holes, you know, a tape measure is not a bad way to go. But let's say there was a pattern of screws here. This will serve as, a, as I think, a still a, a decent example of how these work. But even if you had a pattern of these here, you know, you could install, you know, like I say, these come in sets of six or seven, and you can install these, you know, in all those holes, put your piece on top, you know, tap it around, flip it over, and now you know exactly where those, uh, where those bolt holes go. But I got a piece of uh, aluminum angle, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna install a bolt in this end to simulate that you know, we, we know where part of it starts, and you wouldn't have to. You could put a transfer screw in both of these if you, want, if you wanted to. But let's say we know on this end, you know, where, where we want it to go. And on this hole, we're going to install a transfer screw. You know, we simply screw it in, and you can take a straight edge. Just make sure it's a little proud, a little proud of the surface. Now, I have um, blued the bottom of this where that's going to go so that it'll make it easy to see. But then, you know, you know, if it was a part with multiple bolts, you'd just set it right on top. In this case, I'm going to swing this across and then we'll flip this thing back over and see what, um, see what it looks like. So you can see, you can see right there that it has, uh, Put a line in that bluing. So if we drilled a hole anywhere along that line, we would be able then to bolt this back down and then put another bolt in this hole where the transfer screw was and make that line up. So I think that's about it. You guys know the routine. Appreciate a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And I will uh, see you next week, I guess, on episode 13 with a different tool. So, hey, thanks for watching. See you.